Hello, boxing enthusiasts. Welcome back to another episode where we dissect the newest and best in the sport. Today, we're going to get into the complete fight highlights of the That Have Everyone Talking. Terence Bud Israel vs. Crawford, the Dream Medjermov, you're in the correct place if you missed the battle or just want to relive the action. So let's get started. Roman formally, I still am okay. Let's go back a little and discuss how we got here. Crawford, there was a lot of build up to this fight because both fighters had a lot to prove and the trash talk was spot on. Enter Israel Medjermov, the rising star from Uzbekistan, known for his relentless pressure and power punches. The undefeated pound for pound king was looking for a challenge after dominating his division. This is the last press conference and it's all for the WBA super welder weight. Check it out. Like sharks circling each other, Crawford and Madoff, Madoff throws a fast one, but Crawford responds with a vicious right hook. The Madoff crowd goes wild, seemingly sensing the power already. Crawford defeated Sean by a knockout because of his amazing footwork, which allows him to slip strikes like a ghost. Crowd cheers. Once he remains in their face, Porter, they are helpless in the ring. Crawford round two, and things are moving more quickly. Despite stepping into several hard shots, Madrimov is attempting to exert pressure on Crawford. The effects of Crawford's body injections are beginning to show. It's a battle of wills, the bell rings, and both fighters emerge swinging. Madoff appears desperate, flinging wild punches in an attempt to get him back on track. When Crawford calmly and methodically places his shots and a strong right hook strikes Madoff's chin, sending him reeling back, the crowd erupts. Despite being hurt, Madoff is resilient enough to finish the round, but Crawford is obviously in charge. Crawford is dissecting Madrim's move with the dexterity and accuracy of an experienced pro. Madoff is obviously high on gas, his motions are deliberate and ponderous. The referee intervenes after Crawford delivers a vicious body blow that doubles Madoff, but Madoff overcomes the count. This might be the last time he tries to force his way in. Who will be a tough guy? Give him some rounds and give them the upper hand against a greater advancement. The crowd is on their feet. The atmosphere is electrifying and Madoff somehow finds a second wind. He's throwing everything at Crawford, but the champion is weathering the storm. However, this time Madoff lands a counter right that rocks Bud. Madoff's right hand was coming from the angle, which is why that punch landed. Crawford is beginning to appear weary. Madoff is the audience is on the edge of their seats as he pushes forward relentlessly, using every ounce of energy he has in a tight encounter close to the ropes. The pace of the fight slows down a little as both fighters attempt to recover, but Crawford appears to have the upper hand thanks to an Avenetian left hook. That's the only way to defeat someone like this, though, as both fighters land strong punches. Madoff is still searching for the knockout blow, but Crawford is carefully selecting his blows. Crawford delivers a deceptive left hook, causing Madoff's legs to waver. Madoff is obviously exhausting. Crawford is dominating the ring, he is throwing authoritative punches, and the crowd is roaring his name. Madoff is about to lose his grip on life, and Crawford is playing with him. The referee is keeping a careful eye on things, and is prepared to end the bout if Madoff is unable to protect himself after Crawford gave him a good uppercut while he was at this distance. Spence is most effective when he is at this distance. The bell rings to begin the 10th round, but Medramov is wobbly on his legs, so Crawford takes advantage of that and strikes a left hook that puts him out cold. I want to see that B-man's right hand up a little bit. As Crawford celebrates his triumph over anxiety, the crowd goes wild, which enrages Crawford. Crawford is increasing the tempo. What a Terrence Bud Crawford has once again proven that he is the undisputed welterweight champion of the world. His hype train never seems to stop, and I don't think it ever will because he keeps getting better with every fight. All in all, Crawford reminded everyone why he is the best boxer in terms of power and skill. Madoff brought heart and skill, but Crawford's experience and laser-like precision were just next level. This fight was a masterclass in elite boxing, and it has us all excited for what's next for these two warriors. The fans are buzzing, and so am I. We are living in a golden age of boxing, and Crawford is right at the center of it. Let's go undefeated twice. 
Tap twice, once, twice, once, twice, twice, twice. Terrence Crawford delivered on his promise to put on a show, and he did just that. I know he's big, strong, and has an extensive amateur background pedigree, but it's my time and I'm not letting him take that belt. I'm motivated because he has something I want you to know, and that's the title I'm coming and taking. So, you know, oh, we can be respectful. We can be cord, shake hands, smile, and have a little fun doing what we love to do. But come if time. But hey, one thing you got to respect about Crawford is that he gave Madry his flowers after the fight. What are your actual thoughts on Meng? I don't think he's a great fighter, but he's a great fighter who's tough, hungry, and athletic. Floyd Money Mayweather shared his initial opinions about X, and Floyd stressed that you shouldn't miss it. Crawford is exceptional. Madre Mav arrived to fight, but Crawford was simply too fast and accurate. His body shot in the seventh round was astounding. It seemed as though he knew precisely where to injure Floyd's props. It didn't stop there, though, as he immediately hopped on a video call with Terrence Crawford following the fight with Israel, showing him a ton of respect and major congrats. It's your nightmare, man. I'm really proud of you because you look amazing. You look stack fantastic. Crowd cheers. As most boxers were praising Terence Crawford's recent victory. But I really love myself when I wink at you and pull one of your boobs. Eddie Hearn saw the fight through to the very end. But he had a somewhat different perspective. He stepped backstage and delivered a shocking revelation. Stating that Crawford couldn't defeat Canelo. How, in Henry's opinion, will Crawford be able to carry this weight? Space gap in all honesty. I don't think he can. Sure, you might not be able to bridge it on Saturday, but you're coming up from 35, 35, 40, 47, and 54 sooner or later. It's one too many, and 68 is definitely too many. But Crawford is brilliant. He's a genius and a generational great, so maybe he can find a way to do it. But I think he'd be vastly outmatched against Canelo. If you tear in Crawford in that fight, the last thing you want to do is stand and trade, trust me. He'd be moving a lot, yes. But that's how he would beat him. You know, it's crazy how Hearn is out here saying Crawford doesn't have a snowball's chance in hell of defeating Canelo, while Canelo is busy trying to do Terrence Crawford talks about mixed signals. Don't believe me? Take a close look at this. I can't go down anymore. However, as he says, when they ask him to take the Girant fight, they don't want to take credit for that fight. He says the same thing for me. I don't need to take that fight because everyone will say it's too small. Then, you know, he needs to enjoy his fight because he deserves it. I like Spence, but you know, I like Spence and all the respect for him and all. But I knew that this is the kind of fight that is different when 68, but, as I say, as he says, nobody will give me credit for that. Bud's performance was so impressive that even Canelo Alvarez made an extra effort to congratulate music. We all know that Terence Crawford versus Canelo Alvarez is the biggest fight to come, but pros are worried about that one because, although Terence Crawford is good, that is negated by the significant weight difference. Canelo makes a huge shot, and Crawford is knocked out. Sean Porter argues that this battle should not go ahead, and he has his reasons for saying so. That's two more weight classes, like once he gets touched by Canelo, it's going to be different. I am concerned about him absorbing a Canelo punch, especially through the course of 12 rounds. Oh, uh, we do know this about Canelo, he's going to slow down, you know so I. Think if anything, Canelo would try to start fast and bang on him and break him down before he gets later, and he's still got that kind of steam. But you know, there's so many components that make a champion, there's so many components that make a great a legend. It's just so much to go into. It's a conversation that lasts an hour easily when we talk about all of the components that that